ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty hi Silver, the Lone Ranger. His faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Faster, boy, faster. The glow of a campfire softly silhouetted the figures of an Indian and a boy who sat cross-legged in its circle of light. From far back in the arroyo where they were camped came the mournful hoot of an owl, and night settled over the prairie with a blanket of stars. The boy watched as the Indian fed brushwood to the flames and the fire leaped upward to reveal the features of Tonto and Dan Reed, the 14-year-old nephew of the Lone Ranger. Golly, this is a swell life. Cooking your meals over a campfire and sleeping under the stars. Oh, range life plenty fine. I want to live in the open, too. I mean, as much as you and the Lone Ranger do. Lone Ranger like to hear you say that. Gosh, I wish he was here. Oh, him come by and by. And we three ride together. We three. Somehow I... Still can't believe it's true. I mean, my being the Lone Ranger's nephew and, and everything. You and Lone Ranger like in plenty ways, Dan. You mean some of the things I do and say remind you of him? Uh. Gosh. I, I want to be like him in as many ways as I can. But sure good to hear you say it, Tonto. You know, I keep wondering. What you wonder about? About the adventures you and the Lone Ranger had. The things you've accomplished together. Most of what I know about you are the stories Gran used to tell me. I always dreamed that someday I'd meet the Lone Ranger. I guess that's why I was so taken in by Greg, the outlaw who impersonated him just before you two came to Copperville. And that not first time outlaw masquerade as Lone Ranger. You mean criminals have impersonated him before? Not right. Well, tell me about one of them. Ah, you listen. Me tell you about time not long ago. Crooks not only masquerade as Lone Ranger, but Tonto, too. One time, at midnight in Bear Ridge, only cafe show sign of life. Then guns bark. Two men rush out of swinging doors. Oh, there they go! The masked man's riding the white horse! Yeah, the engine's on the page. They shot the bark. He stole the cash, too. After him, boys! Come on! Come on. Another time, customer enter Western Express office. Him find safe open and manager bound and gagged. Hey, who did it? A masked fella and an infant. They robbed the safe. Sounds like the same two held up the cafe. Yeah, heard them right off. The masked man called his horse Silver. Then the 
I'm driver and guard of Overland State held up by outlaw. Outlaw escape. Shoot him, Tom. Ah, they emptied the bullets. I'll have to load her. Too late. They're riding around the bend. Ah, they won't get far. They're too easy to recognize. Sure. A tall hombre wearing a white hat and a black mask. And an engine called Tonto. Get up. Get up, boy. Come on. Get up there. ones who robbed the cafe and the express office in the stage. Were they pretending to be you and the Lone Ranger? That right. But we not know that till later. Well, how'd you find out about it? Well, we ride trail to town. Sun, plenty hot. Make it hard for horses. Then Silver and Scout see Crick ahead. Them go plenty fast. The horses are thirsty again, fellow. Ah, uh, them work plenty hard. We let them drink at that creek. That should satisfy them until we reach Bear Ridge. Bear Ridge? Not far now. Steady, big fella. <laughs> we'll draw fresh water for our canteens while we're here. Uh, some make it plenty hot. There you are, Silver. Uh, you drink too, Scout. Uh, me kill canteens. Uh, there. They're yours. Thanks, Toto. Now we fill mine. That's enough, Silver. There's still some riding to do. Come, Scout. All right, Toto. Up. You look there. Two men shooting at us. Ah. They couldn't put us in a worse position. There's no cover here. Before we could ride them down, they'd pick us off from behind those boulders. And what we do? Pretend you're hit, Toto. I'll fire a few shots and then do the same. Me savvy. Huh? Now let's the man. Bring your guns into the open. Hey, got him. Come on, Hank. Get up there. Come on. Can you see who they are, Toto? Uh-uh. Two men. Look oh. like prospectors. Prospectors? That's strange. Oh, 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 oh. Good as ours, Luke. Yeah, $500. Let's take a look at them two. The other one, Toto. Let me get them. Look out, Luke. They tricked us. Oh, you slippery coyote. You not shoot. Oh. I'll take that gun. Oh, My jaw feels like it's busted. I don't like to be ambushed. Long on you, redskin. My face is as sore as a boil. Who are you? Hank Stewart and Luke Peters. Two old fools who don't have the sense of a hoot owl. By Juniper, when I think that we had you critters corralled and then let you trick us out of the reward... What reward? A... It's no use playing innocent, mister. We know all about you two outlaws. Darn tootin' we do. You held up the stage, express office, in the cafe, and killed the barkeep. Oh, you make mistake. Don't deny it. We saw you rob the cafe, both of you. And you, mister, you're wearing the same white hat and black mask you wore on all them crooked jobs you pulled. Oh? You called your sidekick Toto, too. I see. We not outlaws. Wait, wait, Toto. You'd better clear out of these parts, mister. We don't want your kind around Bear Ridge. Luke's right. You want to stay healthy, Vamoose. Or mark my words, mister, you'll tempt a noose. Steady, big fella. <laughs> we may meet again. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Oh, golly, what did you and the Lone Ranger do then? We ride to Bear Ridge. But with the reward notices posted and everything, that's just a place where somebody would be sure to spot you. Uh-huh. That Lone Ranger's plan. At the same time, Sheriff have visitor in office. We'll learn about it later. Come in. Well. Howdy, Banker Holmes. Didn't expect to see you. Only half a minute, Sheriff, but I wanted to see you about something important. Why, sure. I reckon you know my deputy, Cobb Morgan. Oh, of course. Howdy. Howdy. What's on your mind, Mr. Holmes? Well, to come to the point, Sheriff... It's those two outlaws, the masked man and the Indian. They've staged some mighty successful hold-ups in this town. You mean to say they've got you worried, too? On account of your bank, eh? Well, frankly, yes. And right now, more than ever. Well, what do you mean? Well, the Bear Ridge Mining Company deposited a large amount of gold to my bank for safekeeping today. Yeah? $10,000 worth. Mm. And if anything happened to it, I, I just couldn't make up the laws. Oh, I savvy. You've got a suspicion something might happen to it, huh? Well, I can't be sure. But the masked man and the Indians seem to know just where to strike to make away with the richest holes. Yeah. I never thought of that before. That's why I came to you, Sheriff. I wanted to ask a favor. Naturally, I'll make it worth your while. Go ahead and speak your mind, Mr. Holmes. Well, I've arranged to have the gold shipped by tomorrow's stage to the bank in Barton. It'll be much safer there. And there'll be a strong guard to see that the stage gets through. Well, then what do you want of me? Well, I want you and your deputy here to stand guard over the gold at the bank tonight, Sheriff. 
My regular bank guard is sick, and I don't want to risk anything happening to the gold before I can ship it to Barton. Yeah, I reckon you're right. We'll be glad to oblige you for watching over the gold, Mr. Holmes. Now, Sheriff? Why, sure. No trouble at all. You don't know what a load you've taken off my mind. <clears throat> I'll be working in my office until late tonight. I'll, I'll wait for you. Yeah. <clears throat> well, good day. Uh, just one thing more. Yes? You better not mention anyone else that Cobb and me will be standing guard at the bank. Well, why not? Is there any reason uh, why... Just a precaution, Mr. Holmes. You see, if word got out about it, uh, the masked men and the engine might suspicion we were watching over something valuable and raid the bank for the gold. Well, of course, I didn't think of that. Uh, I won't mention it to us all. See you tonight, Mr. Holmes. Well, we wouldn't miss that appointment for anything. Uh, good day. Good, good day. day. Bye. <laughs> The old coot. Worrying about all that gold in his bank. <laughs> and then telling us about it. He wouldn't have been so loose with his tongue if he knew about our little masquerade, huh, Cub? With you disguised as a lone ranger and me as Tarno, <laughs> nobody will ever know the difference. Yeah. Folks around here never heard of them two anyway. So far as they know, they're outlaws. Yeah, we took good care to make people believe that. It's a good thing you're part engine, Cub. Yeah, yeah. Talking engine's a cinch for me. <laughs> Me talk heap like engine fella. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Holmes thinks we're doing him a favor by taking care of the gold. <laughs> yeah, you'll never know what kind. <laughs> as soon as we get there, we'll shut his mouth for keeps. So we can't be blamed for letting the gold get away. Yeah. Folks will think it was the mask man, the engine. Just as before. Sheriff! Hey, who's that coming? Sheriff! Luke and me got news for you. We saw the mask man and the engine. Yeah, them two outlaws you're searching for. Hank and me ambushed them out in the trail. Yeah, but, but they got away. You mean it. Stop where you are. Hold him and run it up. You'll have to catch us first. Come on, Silver. Come on, Silver. Look, it's There's a... the mask man and the engine. They're riding out of town. Oh, and thunder. What are you they... waiting for? Get after him. Come on, Sheriff. But, Cobb, if we Quit go... cabin. A body would think you wanted them two to get away. All right, Cobb. Form a posse. We'll track them killers down. While Sheriff Form Posse, Lone Ranger and me make getaway. Must have taken some fast and fancy riding to dodge those bullets while you were in town. We make use of old Indian trick. Ride horses in crooked lines. But where'd you go? We stop in ravine. Maybe five miles from Bear Ridge. Who's the boy? Who's got more than a hole? We camp too near town. They find us here plenty quick. Very big fella. I want them to, Tonto. Oh, that's why you shoot guns in front of jail, yes. huh? Yes. I wanted the sheriff to follow us. Alan saddled silver. Leave scout ready to ride. Me not savvy. We'll make the men who are impersonating us tip their hand, Tonto. How? I'm going to be captured and thrown in jail. Oh, well, me not. The outlaws can impersonate us as long as I'm in custody. Mm, that's right. To continue their masquerade, they'll have to set me free. Oh, <laughs> then we know who outlaws are, huh? Now, me savvy. You take big risk, Kimasabi. Lawman think you kill her. Not too big. Them take off masks. I've already disguised my face. That should be the sheriff and his men now. Uh-huh. Steady, Scout, steady. You've got to get away, Tonto. That's why I didn't let them take me in town. When they see Silver unsaddled, they'll believe they caught me off guard. I'll fire a few shots to make them think I'm trying to stand them off. Engine's ready to ride. Ask the boys, you'll get away. Go on, go on, away. I say so. Get going, Tonto. Uh-huh. Get off, Scout. Engine's getting away. Hold on, it's got you with brilliant. Come and get them. curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. The shadows of night thickened in the arroyo where Dan Reed listened raptly to Tonto's tale of adventure from the Lone Ranger's past. And the Indian laid more brushwood on the dying fire. The flames licked hungrily at the brush, and Tonto's face, as he resumed his story, was boldly outlined by their glow. 
Sheriff take Lone Ranger to jail, lock him in cell. Did he take off the Lone Ranger's mask? Uh Ah, but him not see Lone Ranger's face. Him see disguise. I bet the sheriff sure hated to arrest him. Cobb, too. Especially with a new crooked scheme they had up their sleeves. Oh, them plenty mad. But we not know about that till later. All the blasted luck, this beats everything. Yeah. Just when we're set to collect $10,000 in gold. Folks would never believe a masked man robbed the bank when he's sitting right there in jail. Something mighty funny about the way he was caught anyway. <sighs> we gave him every chance to escape we could. Yeah. You know, he acted almost like he wanted to be captured. Hmm. Guess this puts a period on pulling any more jobs disguised as a Lone Ranger and the Redskin. Well, we still have a chance. A slim one. Yeah, what's that? The engine, Tarno. He got away. Yeah, I saw him. And them two are as thick as burrs. The Redskin will do everything he can to get the masked man out of jail. I guess you're right. Maybe I could even bust him free myself, disguised as the engine. Wait a minute. Huh? You gave me an idea. Let's hear it. There's a noose hanging over the masked man for killing the barkeep. What of it? If he had to break jail to escape a hangnut, he'd go, wouldn't he? Reckon he would. And if the engine was seen with him outside, folks would figure he broke him loose, wouldn't they? Yeah. And if they both went free, they'd be blamed for any jobs we wanted to pull. Ain't that so? What are you driving at? Just this. I wouldn't be surprised if the masked man was threatened with a noose tonight, Cobb. A lynch noose. You mean... A lot of the boys are pretty angry about the killing of the barkeep. Shouldn't take but a might of your persuasion to stir him up. <laughs> I got you. With a lynch mob at his heels, I reckon even the Lone Ranger ain't brave enough to show his face in Bear Ridge again. Cobb Morgan roused crowd into lynch mob in cafe where bartender was killed. Are you men going to stand here right on the spot where the barkeep was shot? Let us murderer goes free! Angry crowd marched to courthouse. You all know who the killer is. He's sitting in his jail cell while his friends work to turn him loose. Is that justice? No. Get a rope! No. No. Cobb Morgan make crowd angry. Them want to break into jail. And hang the Lone Ranger. Well, gosh, it hardly seems possible that even an angry mob would want to do that. Oh, them not know him, Lone Ranger. Them only think him killer. Want revenge. It's men like Cobb Morgan who should be hanged. Men who arouse innocent people to violence. On that right, Dan. But them too mad to think now. Them march to jail. Don't try anything funny, mister. I'm holding a gun on you. So I see, Sheriff. You're in a right bad spot. You savvy that? Yes. It's a lynch mob. They're coming for you. Don't they believe in giving a man a fair trial? Well, that all depends on who the man is. In your case, it ain't likely you'll live to see your trial. I see. There's times when no number of lawmen can prevent a mob from storming a jail and lynching a prisoner. This is likely to be one. Oh? But I ain't hankering to see you lynched any more than you are. That's why I'm here. What do you mean? I'd sooner see a man escape than see him lynched. Naturally, I'd rather escape. There's just one thing. You'll give me your word you'll never commit another crime in these parts. You're convinced that I'm the outlaw? Well, of course I am. Your description is a dead ringer for the one given me by everybody who saw the killer. Now, if you promise to vamoose... Then what? I'll arrange it for you to make a getaway. To avoid a lynching, you'll let me escape? Yep. You ain't got no time to lose. That mob will be here any minute. I'll need my mask and my gun. Yeah, I brought them with me. Your horse is hitched around to the side. Silver? Yes, I know. How could you? Can't see him from this window. My Indian friend told me. Your Indian friend? Is he waiting outside? I'm sure he is. Wait. Say, that's slick. I'm ready, Sheriff. Then come on. This way. (laughs) 
Oh, no. Yeah. You bring the horses? Uh -huh. And wait in shadow. We'll have to ride through that mob. Oh, that plenty dangerous. I know, Kimosabe, but there's no other way. Here, Silver. Come, Scout. Steady. <laughs> ready, Toto? Uh, me ready. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. Get back, all of you. You ain't getting away. Get back. I don't want to hurt you. Close ranks. Don't let them through. You're not close ranks. All right, Silver. Look up. Wait for it. You run us down. Let me out of here. Let him through. That fight's done. You run us down. Let him through, I tell you. Come on, Silver. Get him up. Out. Get him away. Shoot him. Plenty fast. Soon outride lynch mob. Well, the mob might have dragged you and the Lone Ranger from your saddles, and, well, anything could have happened. Oh, Silver, not let him get near. Oh, gosh, what a horse. Someday I hope to have a mount of my own, just like Silver. Maybe you get one sooner than you think, Dan. Well, where did you and the Lone Ranger ride? We ride to Ravine, where we camped before. The lynch mob interrupted our plan, Toto. Ah. The crowd marched on the jail before the outlaws were given a chance to free me. Them led by Cobb Morgan. Cobb Morgan? Ah. He's the sheriff's deputy. That's right. Why would he lead a lynch mob? Me not know. Wait. What you think? The sheriff set me free because of the mob. Uh -huh. And the sheriff's deputy aroused the mob. Our plan worked. What you mean? Cobb Morgan organized that lynch mob for one reason. To give the sheriff an excuse to set me free. Them outlaws? Yes. Those are the two who disguise themselves as us. Assuming they've scared us away from Bear Ridge, they'll continue. And what we do? We're riding back to town, Toto. You, Cub? Yeah. Where'd you hitch the horses? The white one in the paint? Behind a clump of trees in back of the bank. Nobody will spot them there in the dark. No, I reckon not. We ought to make our getaway without anyone seeing us till we're ready. Yeah. And with you in a white head and black mask to look like the Lone Ranger, and me dressed in buckskin to resemble the Injun, <laughs> them that see us will think it's the same two outlaws up to their old tricks. Nobody will suspicion the sheriff and his deputy. We better be moving. Ain't no point in keeping all that gold waiting. Yeah, or old homes either. Come on. Here's the front entrance. There's a light back in the banker's office. Yeah, I reckon he's waiting for us. <laughs> that is the sheriff and his deputy, just like he said. Go ahead in. Got your gun handy? Yeah. Follow me. That you, Sheriff? If he makes a wrong move, let him have it, Cub. Who is it? Yes, we are. Hoist your hands, Holmes. Yes, man. You lift them hands plenty fast. And the Indian. We've come for the gold. Ten thousand dollars worth. Where is it? How'd you know about the gold? It's our business to know. You get him gold plenty quick. Me shoot. I won't give it to you. It is mine. And you'll never miss it. Better start moving, mister. I've got an itching trigger finger. Hey. Maybe him think sheriff come. Save him gold. Huh? Yeah. Up to it, Holmes. You don't give me any choice. It's all packed in that safe. You'd better be right. We don't like mistakes when they're made at our expense. It's all there. I packed it away myself. Me soon find out. Yeah, and while you're about it, stow it in them saddlebags. You won't get away with this. <laughs> Still counting on the sheriff to show up and save the gold, eh? Well, he ain't coming. What makes you so sure? He's already here. I don't... Wait. Your voice. I've heard it before. Sure. In the sheriff's office. The sheriff's office. You are the sheriff. Yeah. You're the outlaws, too. You and your deputy. Yeah, that's right. To think that I told you two about the gold. You ain't the only one to be taken in. We'll be not. But I'm the last. I'll expose you before the whole town. No, you won't, Holmes. You won't live that long. You don't mean that It wouldn't you... be smart to leave you around with a wagging tongue. So we aim to take care of that matter in proper style. Oh, no, I... Don't shoot. I'll, I'll give you more money. All that I have. <laughs> Sorry, mister. We're handing you a one-way ticket to Boot Hill. Ready, Tonto? You call me? What the... It's a real Tonto, Sheriff. Grill him, cop. I'll show him. I'll shoot. Now's your chance. 
riddle them. Yeah. Got that gun. Oh, wing me. You didn't think we'd meet again so soon, huh, Sheriff? The Lone Ranger. Ooh. Take his mask, Toto. Uh-huh, me get it. Here's your prisoner, Marshal. Unmasked. You ornery rat. Pretending to be tracking down outlaws. And all the time, you and your crooked deputy pull the worst jobs of all. The Marshal. How did you the get... The Ranger and Tonto trailed you two here. And went to get me. For these disguises, the number of people who have witnessed our crimes, you have all the evidence you need to charge them with murder. No. No, not that. Uh, rope talk doesn't sound so pretty when it's referring to you, huh, Cobb? Well, I'm glad this one honest lawman in this county, Marshal. I can thank you for saving a fortune in gold. You and that... Well, they're gone. Those two never wait for thanks. Never wait for thanks... That's what I remember most in the stories about the Lone Ranger Grand used to tell. Gosh, I can see him riding away now, heading silver into the night. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 